In this video, we will have a look at generic functions in Dart. So let's say we take the same function we had previously in the previous video. We looked at creating the list operation function where we accept the list of type int and we accept a function that accepts an integer and then we do something with it. And uh, you remember that we had our function as an anonymous function. We could have had it as part of the list operation call of the function and uh, we actually said the int val and then we go to the list the new list and we add to it a value multiplied by five or multiplied by two or whatever so let's say in this instance we will be having a list of doubles instead of a list of ints so there's my list of doubles and I can also have a list of strings. So there's my string values. And then I want to create a new double values and new string values, which is currently an empty string list. So what we want to do is we want to pass in this double list there, run through the list, and then use a function to multiply the values by five and by two. But in the case of the doubles, just multiply it by five and then save it back to new doubles. For the strings, we will multiply by two and save it back to string values. By the way, if you multiply a string by two, you will just get two ats and two stars and two ands. So if you have a look at your previous video again, what we did, we actually had a list of integers and we did the same type of thing for the integers. So let's say we want to use double and strings now. Because our list operation only works with integers, this will be quite difficult and that's why it gives us these errors so you can see there also for the function it takes in an integer there but i'm having a double and a string there so that's why it's giving me these errors because of type incompatibility okay let's just hide all these errors now in the first case it must be a list of type int and we're passing in a list of double and a list of string so that's why it gives us that error and secondly we've got the wrong type of function because the function should accept an integer and here it's accepting a double. Right, so we can change this function of ours to be a generic function so that it can take in any type that you pass in. So to do that, you can use the angle brackets at the declaration of your function to say that this specific function can take in any type but just remember to go to your own types then and make it also t's there so what i'm essentially saying is i'm using a letter of the alphabet to say that the type will be of that specific type and that specific type of the function will be the same type of the list that i'm passing in and also the same type that will be passed into this function so let's just quickly run this i'm going to have print new double values I'm going to have a print a new line character there and let's also print out new string values now let's run this so you can see the double values are multiplied by five so i get 50 there and some other values for the strings there are also multiplied by two multiplying by two will just give you double those values so there you can see them so you can see that it doesn't matter which type of list I'm passing into this function and it also doesn't matter what type of uh, value it actually receives as the argument. It doesn't matter because it will still try and do the same type of action as previously by just sending that item to that function that you indicate. And then you can decide in line there what this function of yours should do. And you can use the fat arrow if it's only one statement or you can use the curly braces and maybe some more if it's more than one statement. So just in short, if you want to use generic functions, you can just indicate a T. Well, this, this could have been an A also. You could have made it an A everywhere also, and it will still work. It doesn't matter what letter of the alphabet you're using, but you're basically saying it will be of the same type everywhere I have that A. And then it will work perfectly. So you're not indicating a specific integer type or a double or a string but you're saying it will be of a specific type but the type will always be the same for the list as well as for the function that will be passed in and then you must just make sure that when actually when you're actually passing in that item there 
that you will do something that will not give you an error. So by doing this, we can use this list operation function for a lot of different operations where I can send through different types and different values to it and actually reuse this function a lot of times. Thank you for watching the video. See you in the next one.